Hi guys, welcome to RPA Stuff. In today's video, we are going to create a bot that will read text configuration file with same convenience we had with Automation Anywhere version 11. Our approach will be same as the XML configuration file video I have posted, in case you have not seen it I will add card for it. I am going to use following sample configuration text file for demo. As you know, the variable name and values are separated by equals. So we can read this txt file as a data table with delimiter equals. To read this file as table, we need to add headers. So, at the beginning of the text file I will add variable name equals variable value. You can define headers as per your convenience separated by equals. Now let us create a taskbot to read this file, I will name it as read text config. Create a string variable to store file path of config, I will call it as config path. You can add default value if needed and set the variable as input value. Now in actions, select open action from CSV text package. In file path, select the variable we created config path. Check the contains header checkbox. Select delimiter as other and specify delimiter as equals. Now in actions, select read action from CSV text package. To store output of this action we need a data table variable. Create a data table variable, I will name it as config table. As we have read the text file, let us close the CSV text session. Now drag and drop loop action and select the iterator as each row in data table. Select the data table variable as config table. Now to store the row values of each iteration, we need a record type variable. Create record variable config row and assign it. Now we need do values from table. First, the variable name which will be in first column of the table and will act as a key in our dictionary variable. Second, the variable value which will be in second column of table and will act as a value in our dictionary variable. Create two string variables called config key and config value to store its respective values. Now take string assign action. Select source string as config row and select the record by name toggle. Enter name as variable name. Store the result to config key variable. Similarly, take another assign value and this time after select record variable, enter name as variable value. Store the result to config value variable. Developers generally add spaces between two variables in configuration file. So, to avoid adding blank data in our dictionary variable, in next step we have to put a check. Add if action and select string condition. In source value, specify config key variable and select operator as not equal to. Keep the target value as blank. Now create a dictionary variable of string type, I will name it as config data. Check the use as output checkbox. Now search for dictionary package and drag and drop dictionary put action. In put action properties, select the dictionary variable config data. In key section, add config key variable. In value section, add config value variable. We have completed our red configuration bot. In next step we will learn how to use this bot. 
Before we move ahead, please like this video, share with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Now let us create a taskbot, this bot will represent a code that has main logics and actions which requires value from config. I will call it as main code. For better understanding, we will have two steps. First for reading logic and second for main code and actions. Take step action, give title as reading config. Now take run action under task package. In taskbot to run section, choose the bot which we created in previous step. Check the set config path input checkbox. Paste the file path in the given text box. Now to store output of run action, create a dictionary variable. I will name it config data, same as the dictionary variable we created in readbot for better understanding. Now map the two dictionary variable and click on save. Now drag and drop dictionary assign action. Select source as config data variable. Now click on add variable mapping, enter key as name and click on create variable icon. Create string variable name to store value. Similarly, add more variable mappings. Create string variables for each config value and assign it to respective key. Now we will take another step action, this section will represent all your main actions and logics. I will call it as main code. To check if the values extracted are correct, we will add message box. Specify all variables in the message box. Let us run the bot and see the output. As you can see our bot has successfully extracted all variable values. All values are correct irrespective the size of data it holds. I hope this video was informative, please let me know in comment section which topics I should cover in my next video. Hit the like button. Share this video and don't forget to subscribe for more videos on RPA Bot.